Hello, welcome back to She Living. I am your host, Angela. Let me make sure y'all can see my food. There we go. And it is Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. I wanted to do a quick video before I went to work. So, yes. Let's just say, uh, I'll bless our food. Then we're going to start eating. And then I'm going to give y'all a description of the day. Okay. I got four tacos. And I got them on my little cute stand here. You see that? Isn't that cute? And I'm just drinking water. And I'm drinking it out of my husband. With the rest of my husband, Chief Cook. We had some more left. So, honey. Yeah. Oh. Father God, I thank you now for this food. Bless for the nourish of our bodies. Father God, I ask that you bless those that are less fortunate, those that do not have. Father God, I speak that you give them increase. Make sure that they're uh, safe, their bellies are full, that they have a warm place to uh, lay their head. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Bless. Eat. On come. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I got some guacamole over here. I hope y'all can see it. There it is. I made it. I made it. I got some uh, picante sauce. But. I want to do a quick video just before I went to work. Mm. Mm. I got ground beef, corn. Who put corn? Look at everybody put corn now. In the um, ground beef, corn. I made a pico, which is a cilantro, tomato, onion, and lime juice and sea salt. My guacamole is in there. Sour cream and cheese. Yeah. Mm. Let's get into the scripture. The scripture is um, Philippians 2 and 3. And I wanted to start trying to switch it up. Uh, give y'all the um, message version of it. And Philippians um, 2. Chapter 2 verse 3. Nope, that's not what I want. I want. Okay, the, the uh, King James Version says, Let nothing be done through strife, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. And I wanted to give you the message version of it. And it says, um, I'm just going to read all of this because it's one through four. It said, if you've got anything out of all, if you've got anything at all of out of following Christ, his love has made any difference in your life. If being in a community of, uh, of the spirit means anything to you, you have a heart. If you care, then do me a favor, agree with each other. Love each other. Be deep-spirited friends. Don't push your way to the front. Don't sweet-talk your way to the top. Put yourself aside and help others get ahead. Don't be obsessed with getting your own advantage. Forget yourselves long enough to lend a helping hand. That's the message version of it. If you got anything out of following Christ, know that don't always try to present you Help uh, present somebody else. Help somebody else. Showcase somebody else. 
Mm. So, how y'all doing? How are y'all doing? Baby. This Pico and this guacamole is so good. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. 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 I've been so out of the loop with what's going on on YouTube and, you know, just working, you know, going back to work after um, Bell Palsy. Oh. Mm. That's so good. So I don't don't really know what's going on and I try to jump on, you know. Certain lives and stuff like that, and support as much as I can. Mm. Everybody that's doing that thing, being consistent, survivor, uh, survivor. So it, it, it could be survivor. Subscriber count is going up. Congratulations. Monetization, congratulations. I watched um Cherish the Day. It was a new series. On network, and it seems like it's gonna be pretty good. Mhm. Mm it seems like something I watched, and I was watching it when my husband came home from work, and he liked it too. <laughs> and he like ice cream. So 
Oh. This seems like it's gonna be pretty good. I also like it's like a not a comedy, but it definitely is romance. You see, we still got um, Valentine's stuff back there. <laughs> I still got Valentine's stuff back there. We had a pretty good Valentine. I went to uh, my friend's uh, place. Yeah. Play games. Ate. Just had a good time. It was way more better than, you know, standing in a long line. Waiting on food to come to a restaurant. You know what I'm saying? Because, to me, those nights, the restaurant be too packed and the food don't come out right. Mm-mm. No. I've always preferred to stay in on Valentine's. No. Because it's too crowded for me. I'm not that girl. I like a quiet evening at home. I don't know if that's a TV or what. Just flash on like that. But that's, that's what I like, when, especially when I know that the place is going to be too crowded. But even opening weekends when it comes to movies, mm -mm. No. I'll wait a while. Wait like two or three days. Like just say it come out just say the movie come out on a Friday. Me and my husband sometime ago Sunday evening. Sometimes I will wait and go over in the middle of the week. It just depends. It just And all the stuff that's going around now, all the stuff people doing in the restaurant, I became so turned off, you know, turned off by restaurants in a sense
Did y'all see that video of a man taking a bath in the KFC sink? We doing too much. We absolutely doing too much. Like, are you for real? You don't have anything else better to do. Then to get your nasty self. Because you're nasty. In a restaurant sink talking about taking a bath. Disgusting. That restaurant gonna lose big time. Nobody gonna wanna Nobody gonna wanna go there. Baby, I have stopped in my track that thumb. Did y'all hear it? I'm getting now. I don't want to get too full. That's it. That's all. Mm. Mm -hmm. That was so good. Tuesday. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking out your time to eat with me. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share the love, share the love, share the love. Remember to serve God, serve people. Love God, love people. See you in the next video. Bye.